uh, welcome back to my sixth class and this is the last class um, probably this will be a little bit short um, um, to the rally of course sorry the introduction is not good welcome to the sixth class of rally and uh, you know here we'll discuss about um, you know we'll, uh, so this is a kind of experimental work uh, that I have not done before. Uh, no, I mean I have done before, but not in rally. Okay, so there is a Jira which we used to do, and so uh, you, you know we, we know this, right? We have this plant track quality. So we we'll go ahead and click on this track and go to the steam board. This is new kind of thing, actually. You know. <coughs> So this is a more of a Kanban process. Let's give you some idea about this Kanban. If you're not sure what Kanban is, um, I'll just uh, you know we'll see here pretty quick. Um, so it's a part of Agile. I, I, oh my! I always go to the wrong side. I'm not sure why. Okay. So in Agile, Agile is a methodology. It's a framework, right? It's a framework. And you have various, um, you know, uh, uh, it's sub modules, kind of sub modules or modules, you know, it's modules. Um, and you won't have to work in one module. Um, you know, if somebody says, like, what methodology your company is following, you can say Scrum. I, I don't know, Kanban. Um, so, uh, but uh, that means they are working in Agile. So those are, those are the part of the agile process. So if you see here, ASD, Adaptive Software Development, DevOps, Development and Operations, um, okay, and RUP, uh, Rational Unified Process, Scrum. Scrum is more famous than Scrum we use. So Kanban, Kanban is also a method, it's a similar to Scrum, uh, but it uses this kind of, oops, I closed that, too bad. So not supposed to close that. Uh, let's see if I have that in history, or I'll go back to here. Oh, that's good. I have this in history. Okay. So the Kanban supposed to be um, kind of like this. You know, if you see this, this is a traditional board where you have this uh, user studies here. Okay, and then you have this to do process, and then in in process testing. So uh, the similar way is here, you see this? This is a traditional way of doing this work. You know, you have this board and you put this sticky notes and this white color is called, <coughs> you know, user stories. And uh, you know, in process, you know, if you move this from to do to in process. And so, you know, always developer starts the work and testers, you know, whenever testing starts, it development has to be completed before testing starts so you cannot do testing before development so it's not possible okay so here actually so instead of doing this traditional way there is an online way of doing it. that's the whole point of this okay the point of this is the the way you're doing this in the board uh, put the sticky notes move into the in progress move it instead of doing all this you do here in online so how cool is that okay um, so the process is similar um, I want to show an example here uh, but unfortunately this is all stuck here actually so if uh, let's say uh, the, I mean the way the Jira is done is really good here it's a little bit complex but let's see here I can use instead of using this you could you could use this right from here so let's say if uh, I, I'll take an example here this is in defined process and if I can drag it here and put it here okay this is in process that means my defect is in process so, so this is supposed to be process and I'll put in in so once it, it's in process it's supposed to be in always in ready so this is ready button and this is blocked uh, there is a blocked here. Uh, blocked means you are totally blocked. Okay, uh, you know you you cannot uh, move further. You know from that. Okay, so 
um, once you you know put in in progress it's always supposed to be um, in ready okay um, you cannot do that if it is not ready then uh, I mean that it's an option actually people normally don't use it it's up to them uh, but uh, it's, it's 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 an option so uh, once it's done you go ahead in progress to complete it that's when your testing is completed right once your testing is completed you drag that's a similar way what you do here in the agile process so in agile this is we are talking about kanban process so this is how the kanban process the kanban is simple than scrum okay uh, they have introduced a new um, thing here team board so that's the reason i want just wanted to give an idea on this so instead of doing that uh, in the user story you can do this right from here okay um, this needs a lot of more development in this see these are guys, these guys are in beta stage that means they have to do a lot of work okay and once it's completed see the point is okay first it, this defect let's take this uh, example as a defect we we'll take an example as defect it's in define process and it's not ready yet see this thing already changed it um, to back in the place okay so this is a defect it's in define process and once um, you, you, of course it should be moved uh, into in progress and uh, uh, this is supposed to be this I know it's not supposed to change that one but I think it's a bug but it's okay um, so here in progress uh, you know once the defect is in progress you, as a tester you supposed to move into in progress and let's say you found the defect and you and the developer fixed the defect and you will put it incomplete okay that means it is completed and that's the reason this thing can from green color to off the, the thing gone off right um, and this I don't believe that this is something to be accepted there's nothing to accept here uh, but uh, this the defects are nothing to get accepted and um, the only thing that is accepted is user stories so let's say you have this user story right this of course will go into in progress completed completed means see once the user story goes in progress um, that means the development should work okay the development should work and after that it, the testing has to be completed and then once it's completed then this user story you know let's let's do it here um, did it go already oops I think it's okay here here it is searching so I want to move it up so we'll just and I'll put it red uh, I'm sorry green so that it is in process in progress okay and what happens here is you want to develop you know development testing so it's supposed to be completed for this user story and this is a job of a product owner in agile you call it product owner in waterfall you call it is as a business analyst right uh, once you've done that uh, you want to move into no not you not you of course product owner uh, moves that into completed status really I'm surprised that you cannot move that into uh, completed process that's very interesting um, but what uh, okay so this is what happens uh, why it's not moving into here you know what I, I can resume this one why it's not moving because uh, there are defects which are not closed so if there are defects which are not closed you cannot say it is completed so let's find out user story 149 let's go here two defects Ah, you see here this is state is open so that was my um, uh, hunch or that was my you know um, 
time with my sense that uh, um, once you know if you have this open thing you cannot actually technically move that into complete status because you cannot say the requirement you cannot say the requirement is completed until this defect is fixed so that makes sense for me so that's the reason you know it was not moving further okay uh, we'll go back here uh, no th this is no point because it doesn't move makes sense fair enough <coughs> okay <coughs> the defect can be moved because the defect is you know has nothing to do once the defect is fixed that means if this move if it is moved it gets fixed okay so and that was really good example that not moving and th even this not supposed to move here but does it move it did but it was blocked right but okay so the so this is a little bit complex here we don't want to go into detail of this one <coughs> the reason because this is all too much of things you know 94 um this is not really properly organized the reason because this has to be um done at the user story level they have divided into project level let's say if i go to different project it shows less number i hope yeah see this um this team board they have done based on the <coughs> Uh, project level the project level there will be a lot of user stories a lot of child user stories and a lot of things okay and uh, so that's the reason this is not appropriate completely but that's the reason you have to submit feedback you know you can go ahead and click on feedback and see you know what you can improve i would give it very extremely dissatisfied and say that uh, this should be classified as um the uh, uh, as a user story level not as a project level if you're using a project level one project can have n number of user stories okay uh, 36 0 15 you look at this look i mean uh, <coughs> this is 265 that's horrible now if there are like uh, people who are working in the teams like, like let's say they are um, in one project it can be now this is agile remember this is agile not a waterfall methodology now when you're working in agile if it's a big project you divide into teams team one team two team three so you call it a scrum okay scrum one scrum two scrum three scrum four scrum five and so on so when you divide this user story gets a lot so let's say for example um one team has 10 user story let's say 10 teams 10 tens a hundred right that's the reason you have this many now this is not user story now this has defects this has user stories these are test cases the task they didn't include task here okay good uh, otherwise this have been much more complex we don't want that um so the whole point of me is using this is <coughs> for me it's 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 kind of too much of uh, it's not supposed to be divided in project level it's supposed to be divided into at least as a user story level but it's okay if you have project is 265 and if you know what you're doing that's fine i mean i'm not worried about it but there are again blocked ones too you have to handle all this block blocked ones okay so all those things just so this is kind of complex uh, complexity this is involved we'll see here in this graph process you have this graph you have cumulative flow cycle time and throughput okay and then you have this another option this is quite hard oh okay 
Uh, this is read only option because you are not a team member or admin. So I am the admin, I have to change it from administrator way. So uh, okay, so that's the, that's the thing. So I mean this is just an introduction for team board. This was started new. So that's the reason I am giving uh, uh, this team option. That. So pretty much we have completed most of things, right? Maybe not all. I didn't think we have completed all. Release status will be do. So yeah, um, you can go ahead and see this release task status. This also, this is similar to, <coughs> um, so they have added new options actually. This was not there before. Okay, so in this release task, right? <coughs> so what you do here is you have this options, user stories, you know, defects, a lot of things is clogged up. So you can change the options here. You can edit it. You can copy it. You can delete it. Okay, fine. Um, you can have this sub task. You know, inline new task. So you know, I don't worry about this. You know, of this, you can also go into task. Is it working already? On bugs. Um, so. Yeah, you can have you have this option of new user story. Now the way I want to create a user story, I would do from here. Go to this plan option, and <coughs> oh, something is not working here. So I'll go back to. I think we clicked some wrong number. So okay, so. Oh, it's not working. Okay, good. So, yeah, we did something. We screwed up something up there. So, <coughs> um, so the uh, so you know, uh, I always like to go here, um, uh, because it's easy and easy to work you know it's easy and you know you can uh, go ahead and click on this and you can uh, you know view this the, you, you have this option of having this task right here uh, defects you know you can use this defects option here and uh, um, probably my internet is very slow out there this might be the case um, <coughs> yeah my internet is a little slow something is happening so okay and uh, so that's pretty much about rally I mean I have uh, I agree I didn't explain all of this I know that uh, but um, you, you since I'm giving you access you can go ahead and view this you have children option too we don't have children option in this because if you have then uh, you can go to this and find out there will be a children option see here so that's how actually you know it works so um so yeah there is one more uh, one more thing i could tell you thing let's say if you accidentally deleted something okay let me give you some hint on this um, let's say you accidentally deleted something oh, in this scenario you have this access uh, go to this recycle bin like you have this recycle bin in the windows you have this recycle go ahead and click on that and if you know the user story or the task number you want to retrieve go ahead and click on this and go ahead and restore it so it gets restored but you have to know which project it went you have to know all those so ta310 you have to know which project it is and where it is going on so okay so you want you can go that one so that is uh, pretty much you can make use of it so that's pretty much about rally i'll go ahead and stop this um <coughs> since i didn't explain each and everything we, we, we did create a child story but I didn't uh, go very in detail and I didn't explain the admin part. The admin part is also there. Um, 
we have talked about this project so I would uh, say this say this as introduction introduction and rally uh, because I didn't cover everything I agree um, because uh, you know just six classes is not enough probably you need more detailed uh, information on all these you know team planning session uh, this is new actually this was not there before uh, um, so team planning session and you know releases how do you create release but um, the, of course you, if you have access to this you might do it if you don't have access you cannot do it so um, normally you don't have access if you are a tester okay if you are a scrum master you can do that if you are a developer you cannot create a release by yourself you need to check with your team um, okay and if you are a tester this is what I uh, you know you get this you, this is the information what you can have but if you are a product owner then yeah of course product owner can create release technically okay and nevertheless even if you have if you didn't find this useful you can go ahead click here and go to the help or maybe you can contact support I don't want to do that um, you can contact me before contacting support um, you know most of things are there here uh, but uh, you know most of this um, you know try to complete this one okay most of time will be on the user stories um, creating user stories and creating test cases executing your test cases opening defects and reporting uh, reports okay uh, that's all pretty much you will be doing that of course it depends on project to project level I don't say that is only thing since we since we have this iteration part to, I only ex showed you an example of manual right remember um, there is automation too you can do automation but uh, the thing is uh, th that's where the iteration comes into picture you have done for Safari you have to do for Chrome you have to do for Firefox and so on and so forth so I would consider you to explore more on that if you find useful uh, uh, since I'm giving you access okay this, you will be having access for this uh, so if you don't really you know uh, if you think I didn't give enough information you can go ahead and use it you know use it I mean use it only for what you want to use for don't misuse it okay this is not to misuse it I don't want it to be misused um, because a lot of people from all over the world I don't know I have like people from Bulgaria Uganda and so on um, the people who will be using it <coughs> okay and uh, so don't misuse it a lot of people will be using it and uh, I know you have access for this so um, you know I hope you you know like this video and with this you know I would end this class okay um, and uh, that's pretty much I remember of any important topics that I need to be covered when you're in a project actually um, that's pretty much but of course there are a lot of user stories you can go ahead and view this um, you know um, and uh, yeah I mean that's what I remember and if you want to know more go ahead use it um, and uh, you know just don't delete anything you don't want to do any deletion part okay um, if you don't if you did something wrong you can just ignore it create one more it's okay I don't care uh, but don't delete anything if you but somebody you know some people deleted a lot of things so I hesitated on giving access but since I didn't explain I know it's unfair that I didn't explain to you everything in this rally but that's the reason I'm giving you access um, I hope you will find it useful and I hope you know you found my tutorial useful so I'll be just putting as an introduction introductory class because a lot of things you know uh, I didn't explain for you so you know uh, with this I close this class this pretty much about rally and you know thanks for watching and good luck